This morning was fun and chill. I had coffee at the lodge, then took some pictures with my parents and explored before heading out. Today would be really exciting as we were going to cross into Vermont. This stretch of trail starts in Mount Greylock, Massachusetts and takes us up about 25 miles, crossing into Vermont and finishing up in Bennington. That's what my dad was in. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, send him a picture. Can you take a picture next to it? So, oh, so you can actually make like a fire in this chimney and then... This is a stove, babe. Or, oh, so you can cook food in there? It's a wood stove. Yeah, you could. This is the top. So you can oh my stove. gosh. Emergency use only. Well, what if you have an emergency and you need to stay in here? This is so, I would love to stay in here. Wouldn't it be fun to have an emergency and have to stay in here? Yeah. And have to cook in this wood stove? So. You could probably cook on top of it too. Yeah, you can, that's, that's a wood stove. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's so cool. You can put your pot like right there or right there. It's a nice rock. This feels fake. Yeah. Like, does it not feel like we're in like a movie scene or something that's not real? <laughs> yeah, Aww. that's the reason I don't have them because they're too smart and yeah. like they. Gushers just admitted that he plays Pokemon Go, and he's literally on his phone, looking at the prizes he's won. <laughs> Right now, from Pokemon Go. I'm texting people about their butts. Ew. Found a snack? Peace. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently there's trail magic. We didn't even see it till just now. Oh. This is trail magic that I picked out. Mutt's applesauce. I got peas. And <laughs> Gusher's got peas. I'm wondering if it's from like somebody's kids lunch or something like leftover stuff but I either way I love it thank you Williams that town this is a beautiful town really I've loved it oh the hat or the mountain was great mm -hmm. everyone talks about the new food yeah I'm so happy I don't know what happened but somehow we have like a full-fledged pack explosion um, right here at an elementary school, like underneath this tree. So check this out. <laughs> Stuff's everywhere. And then Gushers has a little pile too. <laughs> his is it as bad as mine, but. This is what happens when you slack pack and then you pick up your pack in the middle of the day. It turns into a disaster. So first of all, I got a new look. Check out my hat. Parents brought this from home. I wear it all the time. Decided to wear it until today. I got new shoes. These are my Solomons. That um, started the trail with Solomons. I just want to try them out for the day. I think my foot is grown though. I don't think it's that I bought the Nike too small. I think my foot is grown because these Solomons pinky toe hurting. So bummer. Third of all. We're walking a mile out of the way to get Gushers lemonade. Literally right after we just had lemonade and lunch with my parents. So I only do this because I love them. Oh my gosh, it's hot too. 
We are officially Vortex in the biggest grocery store ever. <laughs> we're never gonna make it to Vermont. By the way, we're, we're hiking to Vermont today. I don't think we're gonna make it <laughs> the way we're going. You find it? Find some good stuff? Oh my gosh, it's a mask robot. It's tr it's trying to make sure we're wearing a mask. <gasps> mask up like Marty. <laughs> can it, s do you think it can see me? Okay. It's following me. It's literally following me. Spooking me, man, it's spooking me. like following me. Why do you think they have um, robots in grocery stores now? Yeah. <laughs> it's stocking shelves? It taxes you? What do you say? To what? Detect spills. Oh. It was a non-mask <laughs> tax. I usually wear a mask, but I don't have it on, but nobody in here does. And I thought they were gonna tax us for not wearing a mask. Uh -huh. It's not good. Mm, no, it's really good. Oh, <laughs> okay. I didn't even realize. Oh yeah. If you've been watching my channel, you probably noticed that I never go anywhere without my Garmin InReach Mini. It is such a great piece of equipment, and luckily I only had to use it when I didn't have cell phone reception to text my parents and let them know that I was okay. It gave me so much peace of mind to know that if I ever had an emergency, the SOS button was right there on my shoulder. I would highly recommend Garmin not only for long distance hikes, but also for day hikes or really any adventure. You can purchase a Garmin at REI or Amazon, and I've posted links for both in the description below. Oh my gosh. We've made it. Ah. There's the Welcome to Massachusetts sign. It's cool. Also, it's true what they say about mud. Welcome to Vermont. You should ask me to take a picture of the ground that we walked yeah, on. Yeah, I'm like, this is... <laughs> wow. This is what you came to. It looks similar. Yeah, it looks muddy. Vermont! <laughs> Guess what? We made Really? <laughs> really? Are you joking me right now? Gushers. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I think I'm back. Gushers took this picture of himself on my phone, and I think he's a dead ringer for Tom Hanks in Castaway. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you see it. Will you take a picture for my mommy? Yeah. Um, do you intend to camp at some shop at What a time. I don't know why, but I did not shoot any video on trail this day. I can tell you that it wasn't an awesome day. We were going through a big bubble of southbounders and there was a lot of fear mongering going on about the stretch of trail coming up for us. A couple told us they feared for their lives every moment of every day. This one guy told me he was hanging off a cliff and saw his life flash before his eyes. I honestly don't even know what's true and what's false as some of the stretch they were talking about I still haven't hiked, but I can tell you those conversations mess with my head big time. I also realized I had some big problems when I was out. Those new shoes I was excited about didn't work. 
My feet had grown maybe two sizes and the tread, even new, was so slick I was slipping and sliding all over these rocks. It was terrifying and making me afraid of getting seriously injured and it caused me to hike extra slow. My sleeping pad still going totally flat and temperatures were dropping. My quilt was not keeping me warm and my puffy wasn't either. I needed a total evaluation of my gear and once again to get back into the right mindset. But the biggest problem I was about to find out about. A storm was literally brewing. Tonight, with millions in New York under a state of emergency. Tonight, more than 10 million people are under hurricane and storm surge alerts. Some of the models of this one are quite alarming. Henri is turning and closer. No one knows exactly what's going to happen. Not if it makes landfall. When? This is going to be the biggest storm. It looks like since 1991. 500 National Guard called up. Some of the most densely populated areas in the country are in the crosshairs. Flash flooding could be a threat. Roads turning treacherous. Trees didn't stand a chance. If you have to get to higher ground, it has to be today. This is a significant storm event. Amtrak cancels all trains between New York and Boston. With winds clocking over 50 miles per hour in Massachusetts. Could lose power for more than a week. Oh, the clouds are getting darker, thicker, and more ominous. So we have a hurricane. So what would happen? Would Henri push me off trail before I could make it to Maine? I don't feel good about trying to hike up a crazy mountain tomorrow in the middle of storms. And I don't feel good about waiting a week out of hurricane. Oh, it's a really hard decision. It's all coming up in the next video. thousand thoughts and considerations for you, my dear. Although I know we can't be close, it's you that I think of the most. You're worth and worthy of so much more. Your emeralds and symphonies and all the flavors of a feast All out of more in my eyes at least Breaking score